my channel. Do you guys remember this arrangement right here? Um, so when I did this, it was beautiful. I'll post the picture right here next to me so you guys can see that. Um, what happened with this after I did it, I had placed it somewhere um, that I thought that didn't get afternoon sun. And then I went out and I meant to check the area, um, but I was out. So I completely forgot about it and a lot of the plants burnt. So these are the plants that have survived. They look beautiful. So I really don't want to disturb them. I just want to see how may, uh, I might be able to fill it without disturbing these. I still haven't decided uh, what plants I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna look around and see what I can use and then um, then we'll start and see. Hey guys, so uh, I might pause a few times because I'm still thinking and trying to see what I'm gonna like in this arrangement. I'm not fully 100% um, decided. I don't even know if I'll have enough plants to fill it. But for now, I'm going to start here in the middle because I know what I want here in the middle to stand out is this one. So I know that. Um, yep, I need my scooper. Hold on a second. Okay. There's no roots right in here. So, not worried about that. So, how I did this arrangement was I stacked um, a bunch of plants, like kind of on their side, and then I put soil everywhere. Um, so, we'll see if I can do that still, even though I'm not starting from scratch I'm just starting from here somebody is riding their dirt bike and they're having a blast so you're gonna hear that a lot uh, I don't know this is gonna be kind of a, a weird how I'm gonna have to I don't even know if I'll be able to use it so we'll see how I'm gonna place that in there um, that one looks like it would fit in there not sure let me go ahead and start on this side. I'm gonna use this. I don't know uh, what this one is because it does look like a like a morning Echeveria subsilis, which is also called morning um, beauty, but it looks at the same time different than my original one that I ever had first, which I still have. It looks very different. And this is already root bounded. And I've only had it planted there for a while. It's a very prolific plant. So probably like this. So I'm gonna dig right here. Like that. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a little difficult on how I'm going to place plants all around this. We'll see. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to use this one without hurting it. I'll have to see. It's one that I beheaded and then it, it shot out these. I just don't know how it's going to do. Okay. It's a bit. Let's see if it's a bit flexible where I can make it hang. That would be cool. That would look cool if I can hang it. If they can kind of stack. Yeah, I think it's gonna stack right here. Oops, and it just hurt a leaf. I just hurt it. Let's see if I can make it go this way like that. I just press it down like this. Put some soil around there like that. There we go. Okay. Let's work on this side since I have nothing here. 
What am I gonna put in here? I need to find a decent sized one. Um, so I'll show you um, what I know to be a subsidus for sure. This is a subsidus. See, it looks very similar, but this one always has a more blue, more pink. This one's always more green. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I wish I didn't, I don't want the baby. I just want the, the, the main plant. This grew quite a lot too. There we go. Clean up the leaves over here. Also very um, prolific plant, produces lots of babies. I've propagated the main plant on this one a lot. This one also was, was uh, it looked like it was struggling at some point, but then it recovered. So hopefully it stays looking good. Those babies are gonna get covered. I'm not worried about the babies, like I said. I have lots of this plant. There we go. Okay. So, that's good. Now I need another one. Over there, maybe right here. Yeah. Let me drop some soil there and then place it in there. Move over nice and tight. And then I'll put some soil on right on top. And then we'll push down on it. This is gonna take lots of plants. I don't even know if I have enough. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna put this beautiful one right here. Let me see if this will fit in there. It might be too close to the other one. It's fine. Okay, cool. It's filling in. It's filling in. I have this one as well. Let's see where I'll put this one. Some of these work out because they're already curved. They have a slight curve, so they'll fit in some areas perfectly. Let's move the soil here and then pack it back. There we go. Oh, I like that. Okay, oh, this fell over. This needs something over here to keep it in place. Okay, let's continue. Um, what else? I have this one. Uh, let's see where I can put it. I'm really sorry about the dirt bike. They're actually not allowed to do that here, but we have a lot of kids in this neighborhood that don't follow the rules, but those are kids, right? And I'm sure parents can hear it. 
they know if their kid owns a dirt bike or not. I might put that in this side or maybe right there maybe right here yeah right here because it's gonna cover and I gently push the roots down gently not too hard just flat down and then I'll just pour soil on top of it will make their way down. That was too much soil. But we'll just spread it around. Okay, I think that side is looking full. Yep. Okay, so now I gotta I gotta find something for here still and for over here something pretty a decent size right here. I gotta go look. Okay, so I took the other one out and just so that I could put this one in and then I'll do it. There you go. I think that better there and then I'm gonna move this soil right around it make space for the other one nice and hot where is where is it oh, right here right here Push it in as far as I can. There, and then just tuck in some stuff. Gently push in these roots. Sure, that has got a lot of soil on there. Okay, cool. Okay. Mm, I don't know if I should move this one. It's just been there really a, long, a while, but. It might come out pretty easy. Let's see. Will it move? Mm, I'm gonna leave it alone. It's really well rooted there. It doesn't want to budge, so we'll just leave it alone. Um, this one I placed there. Maybe I should move this one to the other side, only because it's too close to the one that looks like it. But first, I need to find more plants more plants so i think definitely this one only because it looks very similar to the one that i did i'm gonna move it but so nicely in there okay so i have this one i think this one was one that used to be in there and i also have these these grow a little tall so i don't know if they're gonna be any competition to the other plants but I don't know. See, they can go right here. These are pretty. Um, let's see. Let me go ahead and put these. I don't know if I can put it in the spot here. It might be too there. Maybe I'll put this one here. Shift some soil around. There we go. There we go. Okay. Love these. Love these calancoys. I love them so much. Okay. Okay, this one's really pretty and different. Really good. 
Well, without making it come out, I'll fix it in a minute. It's about to fall out. Try not to touch it too much. See if I can get my fingers under there. Oh, I know. Where's this? Let's do that. Dropping leaves. I'm gonna have to take this one out. It's just, you can't see it. I mean, still debating it. Come here, buddy. Maybe I can change you. It came out pretty easy. Damaged a few leaves already from hitting it. It's okay, this is what we're gonna do here. I forgot about this one, but I'm supposed to put it over here and I completely forgot. I still can. Just gotta do something real quick. See, no. Will that work? No, because this one was facing down, so that's not going to work. I mean, unless this supports it. Unless I do that and let that support its weight there. Um, I think you could do that. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll do that. Push that down. Okay, that's cool. It's fine. Hmm. I'm stuck with this one again on this side, so no matter what, it's just gonna end up on this side. It's just how it happened. There's still a plant that I wanted to put in here. Maybe I won't use it. Hold on. This is the purple delight that I have lots and lots of. It's propagating like crazy here. Like that. I'm trying to share my thought process with you guys, kind of like talking out loud so you can just see why I make the decisions that I make and, you know, all that stuff. Okay, that's in there. And then now... Make sure, make sure that soil is on there. Okay. So, that's looking, oh, I forgot to see if I had the agaboitis. One second. I think I potted the agaboitis already, but I'm gonna use a Lola that I have here. Where am I gonna put her? Right here? I think so. Um, I need some soil there. my little thing. They're all underneath already? Okay, can't find it. I just had it. I don't know what I did with it. 
I'll just do that there. Come on. Push down. There we go. There we go. It's looking good. Okay. So I think I'm going to give in and go ahead and probably put this one again there where it was. There. Poor Lola. Hold on. Okay. I got it. I think I did it. Oh, I have a little, I have a little gap here. I can put something in that little gap here as well. I would probably place this one in there, but I would have to, it needs a little bit more soil in there. Okay, so, yeah, let's see, just something right here, I think I'm going to use those, oh, I'm going to get this in there, but let's see, okay, I'm going to make some room here, let's start making a wedge. Pressing, press, 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 press. Oh, I'm snapping. Snapping a bunch of um, leaves. There you go. That's it. I don't think I could pack it anymore. That's it. I would like to, for it to look less, for it to look more full. Maybe if I push this up a little bit. Okay, there you go. That's it. I'm leaving it alone. I'm going to clean it up and show you guys what this it looks is like. This what it looks like, guys. I am so proud of it. I love these calanchois. They're so pretty. I'm really happy I finally finally tackled this. I've been staring at it every time I came outside. And I'm like, oh, I got to fix that. So, yeah, here it is. And because I know that I, when I was um, planting these, I hit some leaves. So um, some leaves fell, and I believe that um, throughout the time of me um, messing with the succulents, that when a leaf does come off, I think that there's an open wound, so water can get inside the wound and, you know, start to rot the plant. So what I'm going to do for now, for the next couple days, I'm just going to go ahead and place this in my greenhouse. As usual, guys, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for watching my channel, liking my videos. I really appreciate um, your guys' support. Uh, I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. Thanks, guys. You guys have a good one.